Hello, this is Abdul Matasiri. I would like to welcome you in another Boeing 737 video tutorial. The uh, topic covered in this video was requested by one of the viewers, which is to talk about the fuel uh, balance in flight. So, a few things that I'd like to mention before we start is I personally do not prefer to do the fuel uh, balance in, in climb or descent. I usually do it in cruise, provided I have a long cruise time and the workload permits that is. I'm not busy with anything else. Just to make sure that I remember that the cross feed is, uh, valve is open and I'm doing a balance. Uh, the second thing is, as you know, there is a, a non-normal checklist for the fuel imbalance. So at least it is important for you to talk with the other pilot and agree that you do not have a fuel leak or you are not suspecting a fuel leak before you do the uh, fuel balance. Now, whether you want to do it out of the uh, non-normal checklist or out of memory, it's up to you. But it's just important to mention that, or you agree both that you do not have a fuel leak situation. So as you can see, we have about 500 uh, less in the right side. So what we do first is we'll go to the overhead panel and we'll open the cross feed. And when I say open, you need to make sure that the light go full bright and then dim indicating that actually the valve had opened. So we have full bright now. And then, so now the position of the cross feed valve is open. The low side is the right side. So fuel pumps on the right side. We'll switch them off. So we'll go off. Of course, you'll have the low pressure light will be illuminated. And we'll have a master caution fuel. So after mentioning that to the other pilot, cancel the master caution. And then use uh, another reminder to make sure to remember that the cross feed valve is open. I usually do insert a piece of paper here between the two thrust levers, just as a reminder for both of us that we are doing a fuel balancing. Now don't wait until the number is exactly the same, but slightly before the numbers are equal, you want this side to be above by 200 or so and then start switching the fuel pumps on and close the cross feed. So I'm gonna fast forward until we get closer to uh, six or nine or so. Okay, so now we have about 500 pound. Again, 200 or so, I'll start reconfiguring the uh, fuel pumps and close the cross feed. So at six or eight, I'll switch the pumps on. So again, we'll go with the fuel pumps on and make sure that the light extinguished and then we'll close the cross feed again it will go full bright and this time it's going to extinguish indicating that the actual position of the cross feed valve is closed and then whatever reminder you have used uh, remove it now so this is the way to do the uh, fuel balancing and flight using the cross feed again remember that you need to talk about whether you are suspecting a fuel leak or not and if you are not suspecting a fuel leak, then open the cross feed and make sure that the cross feed valve really open by the light going full bright and then dim. And then switch the pumps off on the low side. Use a reminder, insert a paper or something between the thrust levers. And when you are done, switch the pumps back on. Close the cross feed and make sure that the light go full bright and then extinguish. So I hope that uh, this video would be of some benefit to you. If you have any suggestions or questions, please let me know. Until next time, this is Abdul Mateh Asiri. Wish you a safe flying and smooth landing. Thank you for watching.